Heather L. Somalisa today. Um, I had some requests for showing you guys how I do my hair. Um, I'm not a professional hairstylist. I just, for years now, have learned to play around with my hair for modeling, for um, acting, um, going out in New York going out uh, in Los Angeles and also on my um, during my fashion shows and learning how to do it for modeling and doing it for other models as well that modeled for me. And just learning from reading magazines and looking at magazines. And for me right now, it's all about vintage style, uh, old Hollywood glamour. And so I, taking some inspiration from my some of my favorites, like Jean Harlow, Rosalind Russell, Norma Shearer, and I'm doing a, a down do and an up do, and I'll show you. I've got my hair kind of down on one side today. It's kind of wavy um, on this one side, and then up here, if you can see, hopefully, I have two pin curls and some small rollers, and so with pin curls, I'm not going to take this segment to show you how to do the pin curls, but when I pull it out, you're going to see. Now, I did a bit of a wet set, and my hair is still kind of damp, so when I pull it out, it's not going to be a tight curl, because I just wanted a bit of a wave today. So if you want a really tight curl, um, a la Norma Shearer, she did really tight curls, um, then you're going to have to let it dry completely, but I'm doing kind of a wave, wavy look. Now, Jean Harlow was 1930s. Rosalind Russell was 1930s into 1940s. Norma Shearer, again, 1930s, 1940s. Um, during the 1930s, hair was shorter. Uh, Jean Harlow's hair was probably almost shoulder length. Uh, she did a side part. So let me show you. Let me take it down. Um, I'll show you the rollers I use. Just simple little plastic rollers. See, I'm taking it down. They're little snap rollers. Taking it down. And I rolled the ends under, as you see, I pull in them out. Little bit of a wave there. And in the back, I had to roll the back of my hair a bit. A couple of rollers back there as well. Sometimes they tend to, because they have spikes, see? And then they snap. Okay. One more in the back. Hopefully I can get this without pulling my hair out. I'm not fond of the spikes, but they do work fairly well. Okay. The good news is I want it kind of fluffy and fuzzy and kind of wavy looking. Okay. Now for the pin curls. I've got, I, would, I did two on top and two here. So right here on the side, I'm going to pull this one down. The lovely thing about pin curls, I've been doing them for years. They give a really nice vintage style look because that's what they did. Now see, this one's a little bit more dry, so it's a little bit more corkscrew than this wave over here. And let me take my bobby pin out here. Bobby pins are your friends. Make sure you keep lots of them. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is I'm going to take, now these products I'm using are from Schwarzkopf. I love them. They are promotional products that they have given me but I wouldn't be using them if I didn't like them. And I have fine hair, it's silky, and I need some volume. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Volume Texture Powder. Now, this product, you have to use sparingly. So you're just gonna do this, and then you're gonna take your fingers and kinda of do this. Just really get it into the roots. Again, use it sparingly. If you get too much, it gets waxy and it does the opposite of what you want it to do. There you go. It's pretty incredible stuff. I liked it. It was just hard for me to learn how to use it. You just have to play around with it. Okay, now you're gonna take your hair and I'm gonna use the Crystal Shine for right now, hairspray, the old team line. The, the Claudia Schiffer, Claudia Schiffer, <laughs> um, Schwarzkopf, that's a lot of S's line that you can get at like Walmart and Target. And I'm just gonna lightly spray my hair first before I do this. Now here's something important. I don't use brushes. You're just gonna take your hair and do this. And kind of finger your hair through your curls to loosen them up, right? 
Okay, now in the back you've got some nice volume. And see, I've got some weight. Now, a lot of people are all about symmetrical. I'm not, especially when it comes to I'm going to do a side part. Okay, so I'm going to choose my right side for my part. So you just part it. Then you're going to take your brush and kind of, you know, get it to the side. And now you're going to shake it again. Kind of mash it in your hands like this. I've done this for years. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm learning to use my new tablet and where my uh, camera lens is at. So it's probably a little bit awkward. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to take the Biotin volume hairspray again the old team line kind of pull out my ends and back to pull it up like this spray it now do this too hold it there for a second and then but up same thing on this side you want to get a little volume here in the front and then do this Okay, now this is sort of kind of like what Jean Harlow would have done in the 1940s, and unfortunately, she passed away in at the end of the 1930s, very young. She was very young. Um, terrible tragedy. Okay, see, we've got some nice wave and volume, a little curl. It's nice and shiny. I like these products a lot. Um, and as you see, it gives you kind of more of a 1930s rather than 40s, but in the 1930s, they would have worn their hair a lot shorter, but I keep mine long. Okay, so there you go for the down do. Now, for the up do, you're just gonna take your hair like so, and you're gonna do it sort of like a French twist, grab it like you would a ponytail, and then French twist it, but leave everything on top. See what I'm saying? You leave it on top like that and then you're going to kind of pull on it here in the front to kind of pompadour it. There you go. Pull it on the top. You want to make sure you get your curls on the top. Take your bobby pins and just start putting them in there. My hair is really fine and silky so I have to use a lot of hairspray. I don't use styling dippity doos on my hair because it is so light and fine and silky it will weigh it down just a little tip a lot of women have lovely thick hair and they can use the the dippity doos but i can't they they did back in the day though during the 1930s and 40s pomades dippity doos waxes now the powder is a wax and that's why i say use it sparingly i can use a little bit on to give me some lift on the root Okay, just keep putting your bobby pins in there. Let's see how I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to get some more little bobby pins here from my great-grandmother's little powder jar that I just adore to keep my bobby pins in. Put them around the bottom. Make sure you're getting everything in. And now you've got a little, like, curly cute pompadour with your curls on top. And that's how they would have done it back in the day. And there you go. Simple, easy to do. Everything I do is vintage inspired. It's not going to be exactly like what they did. It's more of my easy peasy modern version of 1930s, 1940s, old Hollywood glamour. Stay tuned for the next segment where I show you my new tilt hats and how to wear top sitting tilt hats with this updo. And then I'll take my hair down for the down do again. So come